Starting in a seated position, sitting up nice and tall, maybe opening the palms, resting them on your knees. Go ahead and close your eyes. And let's just start breathing in through our nose, out through our nose. Sitting up nice and tall like we're leaning up against a wall, having that perfect posture. Bringing our awareness to our breath, to our yoga mat, to our beautiful practice tonight. Really taking a focus tonight of just letting things go. We're going to focus on the lymph system tonight. So we'll add a little movement, a little bit of twisting, a little bit of goodness. But before we begin, just take this moment letting go of anything else that's gone on in your day. Just bring your awareness to your practice. Filling it up with that big, deep cleansing breath and then exhaling it out completely. Keeping your eyes closed here. Maybe start on your exhales, opening your mouth. Audible sighs. It feels silly. In yoga, we call it our lion's breath. So with that exhale, you literally open your mouth, take your tongue out, and let it all out. So maybe that feels good tonight. That lion's breath, it's good for waking things up, getting things moving. Great for your lymphatic system. Just take another breath here, whatever is comfortable. In the seated posture, eyes closed, exhaling it out. And then on your next inhale, open your eyes. Let's add some arms. Inhale, arms come up. Big, deep inhale. As you exhale, take this left hand to the side of your head, placing your right hand on the ground. And just feel a nice, gentle stretch. We're not pulling on our neck. We're just creating some space between this ear and the shoulder. Pressing the right arm away. Gently using our left fingertips. Deep stretch, sitting up nice and tall. Deep Ujjayi breath, exhaling it all the way out. And then inhale, come back to center, bring both palms. Let's do the other side. Inhale, arms come up. Big deep cleansing, inhale as you reach, exhale, take your right arm to your head and gently place your left fingertips. Feeling that stretch again now on the left side. It's really creating some space, right? Throughout the day, as we get stressed, as we get moving, the shoulder just makes its way up into your ear. So just take a few breaths here, gently relaxing, creating space in a tight spot. And then inhale, come to center. Let's just kind of shake it out here. Add some shoulder rolls, roll them back, roll them up. Again, this is a good time to try that lion's breath. Exhale, tongue out, remember. It's just you at your house. You can be as silly as you want. I know it feels so silly, but it, it's so good, right? Just maybe adding a little bit more movement. Maybe just audible exhales. And then placing your hands on your knees, let's inhale. We're just going to gently look back. Don't let this head drop. Use control. Sitting up nice and tall, looking back. And then as you exhale, roll it in, chin to chest. Really round it out. Now maybe make it a little bit bigger. Inhale, come on up. Opening up the chest. So I'm using that resistance, kind of pulling on my legs. Just a little bit, and then exhale, I'm going to round it in. In fact, I'm going to turn to the side. So here we go. Let's inhale, open it up. Opening up the chest, dropping that head back. 
And then exhale with your rounding. Let's do one more inhale. Drop that head back. And then slowly exhale, round that chin to chest. And then just kind of give me some rolls right here. Let's just kind of roll it out. Take it the other way. And then inhale, let's sit up nice and tall. Sitting up nice and tall, I'm just going to face you. Let's inhale, arms come up. As you exhale, take this left hand and just bring your right hand to your elbow right here. And just hold right here. Now option, let's bring this right hand. I'm taking the palm of my right hand and I'm just going to braise my lower back. Our shoulders aren't very warm, so I'm going to show you. Let's just keep it right here. Just gentle. I mean, if you have the flexibility and you want to reach for your fingertips, go ahead. But I'm just going to keep my hand braced into my lower back and really just opening up my chest. Opening up the shoulders. I'll turn again. The face seal. Opening up the shoulders right here. You're feeling a beautiful stretch right here. Give me another breath here. And then exhale it out. And then inhale, come to center. Maybe add a little wiggle. Let's take it to the other side. Inhale, arms come up. Exhale, take it to the other side. Pat yourself on the back. And maybe just hold it here. Or take this left hand, raising the back of your hand, pressing it into your lower back, opening up the chest. And just feel this gentle stretch now in the left top of your shoulder. Feeling your long spine as you press it in to that back of your hand, opening it up. Inhale here, and then exhale here. And then inhale, release, come back to center. Take whatever you need. Add a little bit of movement. And then on your next inhale, let's find tabletop. Stacking those knees right underneath your hips, toes against the mat, wrists right underneath your shoulders. Pulling in that abdominal muscle. We're just gonna add some heat, so I'm just gonna lift my knees. So here we go, inhale, just lift your knees about an inch off the mat. Hold it right here. You could slide a towel underneath those knees. Just adding a little bit of fire. I'm pressing my hands, pressing the tops of my feet into the yoga mat, waking up that belly, waking up the quads. Can you give me another breath here? Inhale here. And then exhale fully here. Inhale, drop the knees. Tuck your toes. Give me a nice downward facing dog. Pedal out that down dog. Bending your left knee. Bending your right knee. Shaking out that head. Whatever you need, shake it out. Pedal it out. And then hold that downward facing dog. We're going to do that fire in the belly one more time. So you're welcome to stay here in downward facing dog. Or here we go. Let's come to tabletop. Nice lengthen through the spine. Lift through the crown of the head. And then here we go. Inhale here. Just lift the knees. Exhale here. Again, pressing to the tops of the feet. Pressing in with your hands. Inhale here. Exhale here. Can you give me one more breath? It's okay to shake. A big inhale and then big exhale. Don't hold your breath. Now inhale, drop your knees, tuck your toes, find that downward facing dog. Look up at your waistband, lengthen through that spine, pushing your hips up towards the ceiling. Exhale it out. Now looking up to your hands, let's go ahead and walk it up to our first forward fold. Keeping our feet nice and flat. And then let's slowly roll it up one vertebrae at a time. Stacking those hips, stacking those shoulders, having a nice active mountain pose, engaging those inner thighs. And let's inhale, arms come up, holding it here in your exhale, just lengthen, reach through the crown of your head all the way down to your feet. Now holding your arms up here, let's inhale, let's bend this right knee. And then let's lean over to the right side. So my left leg is straight and, my, and I'm leaning to the right side of my body. Just a slight bend, opening up the side of the body, opening up the armpit areas, waking up those lymph nodes that are all in here. Shake it out, really reach. And then inhale, come to center. 
exhale it out here. Now inhale, bend the left knee and reach over to the left side, lengthening the right leg here. Really pressing down through that right heel. Really reach out. It's like you're holding a beach ball up and over. Breathe into that armpit. And then inhale, come back to center. Exhale, bring your hands down by your side. All right, this is where we get to get a little bit silly. So find a little bend in your knee. I'm just going to add a little sway right here. I'm going to face you. Just twisting at the waist right here. We're talking about the lymphatic system. You know, we have lymph nodes everywhere, right? It helps detox our bodies. Actually, yoga is so good for, for rejuvenating, right? So right now we're kind of waking it up. I know it feels silly, but again, we're doing yoga at our house. Nobody can see you. You got this. So I want you to make this your practice. Maybe bend your knee. Maybe add a little twist. Maybe roll out those wrists. Maybe you've had a day and you just got to get it out. I invite you to do the lion's breath. Open mouth. Maybe I love a good horse lips. Right? We're waking up that detox system. We're getting into those tight spaces. Right? If nothing else, it's making you smile. Sometimes, right? It feels good to be a little silly, but... It's so good for your body. So just give me two more breaths wherever you are. Breathe it out. Wake it up. Shake it out. Give me one more big inhale through your nose. Exhale out through your nose. And then slowly just kind of slow it down. Find your little bit of sway. Maybe find a little smile on your face and then find your stillness in that active mountain pose. Pressing your feet into the ground, hugging those inner thighs together as you open up through your chest, open up through the hands. And then let's move on. Bending your knees, inhale, arms come up. Exhale, swan dive, give me that beautiful forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, forward fold, really hinge from the hips. Again, inhale, halfway lift, pressing those hips back. And then as you exhale, plant your hands on the mat, finding your downward facing dog. Inhale, let's gently open this left hip. Peel open this hip, gentle, gentle. Pressing down through your right hip, doesn't have to be too big. Just opening up the hip, hold it here. Now option, you can hold it here or I'm just gonna bring that knee to my elbow two times. So here we go, inhale here, I'm gonna bring that knee to my elbow, kiss that opposite elbow. And then exhale, open up the left hip. So here we go, inhale, left knee, right elbow, come across. And then open it up nice and gentle. Let's do it one more time. Here we go, inhale, knee to elbow, hold it here and then rotate this knee in. Come up, bring your left foot in, Dropping your right knee, activating that core. Let's come up into this beautiful low lunge. Take a moment here in this low lunge. Really open it up tonight, nice and tall. Now holding this low lunge, let's grab onto this right wrist and let's just reach over to the right side. So I'm bending that left leg, I'm reaching over through the right side. Again, waking up that armpit area, but now we're getting a little bit deeper. Can you think about that in front of your leg? That's the hips. Breathe into that area. Keeping those hips square, protecting that lower back. We're just hinging from the side. We're not dumping into our left side. We're lengthening up and over the right. Hold it here. Give me another breath here. Inhale here. Exhale here. And then inhale, come back to center. Exhale, bring those hands to heart. Hold it here. And we're going to twist to the left. So holding our hands right in our heart. We're going to inhale here. I'm going to exhale. I'm just going to give it a little twist. So it's like you're, you're wringing out a towel on the inside. So right here, pressing those palms together, stretching it out. So here we go. Let's try this. Inhale here. Exhale, bring it out. Holding that low lunge. Good. Let's do that again. Inhale. 
And now exhale, ring it out. Drop your shoulders, really twist from that waistline. Maybe look a little bit over to the left. Hold it here. Can you give me one more breath here? Inhale here, exhale here. And then inhale, arms come up. Exhale, frame this left foot and give me a nice little rock right here. Rock it out. Feels pretty good. Maybe straighten the leg out a little bit. Breathe it out here. Good, and then inhale, find your stillness. As you exhale, curl those right toes and bring this left leg through and open it up one more time. Feel that beautiful stretch through the hip. And then exhale, come on down, downward facing dog. Inhale, let's come forward to a plank or our knees. I'm gonna to come to the knees for the first one. And then as you exhale, chaturanga, lower all the way down. And then inhale, open up, you straighten your arms. Give me that beautiful upward facing dog. Tuck your toes, protect your lower back as you push it up and back, downward facing dog. Inhale, step it up to that forward fold. Exhale, plant your feet. Inhale, halfway lift, reset that spine. And then exhale, forward fold. Bending your knees, inhale, reverse swan dive all the way up to mountain pose. Exhale, hands come down. Here we go, let's go back down. Inhale, bend your knees, lift up, exhale, swan dive forward, fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, plant your hands, find that downward facing dog. Pressing those heels into the mat. And then on your next inhale, let's safely open up this right hip. Take your time, first time on the right side. Nothing too big. Evenly pressing your way through both hands. And then I'm gonna bring this right knee to left elbow. So here we go, I'm gonna inhale here. Exhale, I'm gonna cr cross it over, kiss that knee to opposite elbow. <sighs> inhale, open it up. Exhale, come across, give it a nice little kiss on that elbow. <sighs> inhale, open it up. Last time, exhale, come on through, kiss that knee to elbow, and then rotate that knee in, dropping your right foot, drop your left knee. Toes to the mat, come on up. Inhale here, exhale here, find your balance. Now let's grab onto this left wrist this time, opening up through the left side as you maybe inch that right foot out just a little bit more. Let's get into this left side body. So again, we're not dumping into the right side. We're lifting up and over, lengthening through the left, opening it up. Breathing into it. If you start to feel wobbly, think about squeezing your inner thighs together. Reaching it up and over. Breathing into this space. Give me one more breath here. Full deep exhale out. And then inhale, come back up to center. Release your hands. Exhale, frame this right foot. I'm just going to give it a little rock right here. All right, feels good. We had a lot of movement on that leg. Oh, I forgot our twist. Oh, we're not done. I was like, we're not done. Sorry about that. Inhale, come on back up. I knew I was forgetting something. Exhale, bring your hands to heart. We got a twist. I'm going to turn on the other side. Right leg is forward. Here we go. Hands at heart. Inhale here. Exhale, twist to the right right here. Ringing out those insides. Really pressing through that right. And then inhale, come back to center. Exhale, twist it out, pressing those palms together, using that to really twist. And then inhale, come back to center. Exhale, twist it out, hold it here. Can you go a little bit deeper, sitting up nice and tall, pressing those palms together, maybe looking over the right side. Twist it out, you got this. Exhale here. And then inhale, come back, bringing those arms up with you, opening up. And then exhale, frame this right foot. Give me a little shake out. Feels good after those twists. And then inhale, tuck those left toes. As you exhale, come on up, opening up the right hip. Feeling that deep stretch. I'm just going to move. And then find your downward facing dog. Let's run through our vinyasa. Here we go. Inhale. This time I'm going on plank. You can come on or off your knees. Exhale, chaturanga. Inhale, roll up to upward facing dog. Straighten your arms. Maybe you take your legs off the mat. And then as you exhale, downward facing dog. 
Inhale, step it up to that forward fold. Exhale, plant your feet. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, forward fold. Bending your knees. Inhale, come up to a lovely mountain pose. Exhale, I'm sinking down to it. Just an easy chair. Just an easy chair. I like to call this like a bar stool. I'm sitting up on a tall bar stool. If you want to take it deep, you can. And then let's look down. Kind of wiggle your feet together a little bit. Hugging those inner thighs together, like right here, like you're squeezing a ball between those legs right here. I like to keep my hands at heart. Because here we go. I'm going to do that twist again, but now it's going to be in a chair. Inhale here. Exhale. I'm going to twist to the left right here. Look up to the ceiling. Now hug those inner thighs together. Exhale here. Inhale. Come on up. Exhale. Straighten your legs. Give me a nice forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, find your forward fold. Let's do that again. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, step this right foot back, coming into that low lunge. Arms come up. Inhaling here. Exhaling, hands come to heart. Inhale, give me that twist again. I know we just did it, but now we're in a twisted low lunge. Maybe you hook your elbow. Maybe you open it up a little bit. Open it up. Revolving that rib cage open. Breathing into that side body leg. Give me one breath here. Inhale here. And then exhale here. Inhale, release. Arms come up. Big open. As you exhale, frame this right foot. Maybe this time you bring this left hand on the inside and give me just an easy lizard. Just nice and easy. My left foot is flat. Both my hands are shoulder width apart on the inside of my left foot. There's like my hands and my feet are on the same plane. I could, I could have like a yardstick behind my hands and my feet and just hold right here. Inhaling here and then exhaling, coming onto your toes. Come on up. Bring this left hand on the other side of your left leg and open up this left leg. <sighs> open it up. Maybe squeeze this glute a little bit closer. Heel closer to your glute and then exhale, come down to a downward facing dog. <sighs> All right, let's get it on the right side. You ready? Inhale, come to your plank on or off your knees. Exhale, chaturanga. Inhale, upward facing dog. Straighten your arms, toes to the mat. And then exhale, tuck your toes, find your downward facing dog. Inhale, step it up to that forward fold. Exhale, plant your feet. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, forward fold, lengthening. Now bending your knees. Inhale, reverse swan dive up to that mountain pose. Hands come to heart as you exhale, sink into your chair. Maybe walk your feet together a little bit. Chair, bar stool, whatever you want. I like to keep my hands at heart. You can always bring your hands up. We're going to do it on the right side, so I'm going to turn. Here we go. Sit back in that chair. It's how deep you want to go. Inhale here. Exhale, twist. Now look down at your knees. Make sure your, your hips didn't go wow, that your knees are in line. Twisting chair right here. Inhale here. Exhale here. Inhale here. Look up towards the ceiling. Exhale here. Inhale, twist out of this chair. Arms come up. Exhale, give me a beautiful forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, step this left leg back. Find your low lunge. Drop it down. Toes to the mat. Come on up. Inhale, hands come to heart. Exhale, give me a nice little twist. Maybe this time, left elbow outside of right knee. Open it up. Deepening it a little bit more. Feels really good. Looking up towards the ceiling, lifting the heart. Bringing it out tonight or today, whatever time this is. And then inhale, bringing those hands up. As you exhale, bring those hands on the inside of your right foot. So again, there's a straight line. You can hold a ruler right underneath. And just coming into a gentle lizard right here. Warming up the inner thigh a little bit. 
really relaxing the neck, holding it here, getting a beautiful stretch in that leg. And then on your next inhale, curl those left toes, bring this right arm on the other side of your right leg and come on up and open up that right side, squeezing this right ankle towards your left glute, really opening up the hip. I'm just gonna switch sides again. And then exhale, find your downward facing dog. All right, we're gonna run through that one more time. We got, you got this one. Here we go, inhale, come into plank, on or off your knees. Exhale, chaturanga, hugging those ribs. Inhale, straighten the arms, open up the heart, toes to the mat, and then exhale, tuck those toes, pressing those heels back. Inhale, step it up to that forward fold. Exhale, plant your feet. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, reverse swan dive up to that mountain. As you exhale, hands come to heart, sink down in that chair. Maybe wiggle your feet together. Here we go, last twist, I promise. Mm -hmm. I told you, bringing it out tonight. Inhale here, exhale, twist to the left. Now option, maybe you try twisted chair tonight. Again, look down at your knees. Make sure your right knee doesn't come forward. They're in a straight line. Look up towards the ceiling, twisted chair. Now, if you wanna go a little bit more, maybe you come onto your left leg. Can you come onto your left leg? Can you come back? Can you come back? Can you find that low lunge? And then inhale, arms come up, find that crescent high lunge, woo! Hold it here. Inhaling here, reaching high. And now exhale, framing this left foot. Let's rotate this left arm up, opening it up. Really bending that front knee now, deepening this beautiful twist. And then inhale, bring this arm back, dropping this right knee, bringing this left arm on the inside, and let's do that lizard one more time. But this time, take it a little bit deeper. Maybe you come onto the outer edge of that left foot. Maybe you peel open that left arm, feel that deep stretch in your inner thigh. Maybe bring that hand on your lower back. Breathe it here. Give me another breath here. Inhale here. Exhale here. Inhale here. As you exhale, plant this left foot, frame this left leg, coming onto your right toes, and then bringing this left leg up and behind. I'm going to move over. Maybe wild thing is in your practice, and you want to bring that left foot down. Both feet are on the ground, and you lift your hips up, opening it up, right? Feeling that deep stretch all the way through. So good. And then gently bend your knees, rotate back down, and find your downward facing dog. If you came off your yoga mat like I did, take a moment. Here we go, let's run through that one more time. We got this. Inhale, come to that plank. Exhale, chaturanga. Inhale, upward facing dog. Straighten your arms, toes to the mat. Exhale, tuck your toes, downward facing dog. Inhale, step it up to that forward fold. Exhale, plant your feet. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, bend your knees, come up to that beautiful mountain pose. Exhale, bringing your hands to as you wiggle your feet together, sit down in that chair. Right here, chair pose, let's go to the right side. Here we go, last time. Inhale here, exhale, give me that beautiful twisted chair. Maybe you try hooking that elbow. So I'm taking my left elbow on the outside of my leg. But again, I'm giving my legs a little look because that sometimes your knees want to come out of alignment. So keep those knees in a straight line, looking up towards the ceiling. Now here, this is where you get to have a little fun. It's okay if it's shaky. Can you come onto your right leg? Can you lift your left toes off? Holding in that core, reach this left leg behind and then find that low lunge. Twist right here. And then release, inhale, arms come up. Give me that beautiful crescent high lunge. Lengthen, exhale here. And then inhale here, exhale, frame this right foot. And then maybe revolve this arm open, that right arm reaching up and high, dropping your hips, getting a beautiful stretch. And then on your next inhale, drop this back knee, bring in your right hand 
the inside of your right leg and take your lizard to a deep lizard. I'm taking my toes to the mat. I'm gonna open up my right foot. Really feel that inner thigh, that groin area. Get deep into that. Maybe you liked bringing that arm up. Maybe that felt good. Maybe you wanna open up the chest, the shoulders a little bit. <sighs> Holding in here, deepening your lizard. Such a great stretch. Take another moment here. And then on your next inhale, tuck your left toes, bringing this right leg up and behind. I loop over, open it up. If wild things in your practice, Flatten your feet, open it up, reaching through. Feeling that beautiful lengthen. And then bend those arms, come over, and then find your downward facing dog. And then from your downward facing dog, find your tabletop. Take those knees out nice and wide and give me a nice child's pose. Catch your breath. I'm going to turn it. So notice how nice and warm you can really sink deep into this child's pose, extending those arms out long, really dropping that belly, the abdominals and a lot of work. So catch your breath. Now option, you can stay here. I'm just going to kind of come up and just add a little bit of movement, getting into that lower back. And it's a lot of movement in this flow. Getting into tight spots. Our hips are nice and warm right now. Just kind of, I like to add a little bit of movement. Totally optional if you're like, I'm done moving. Then just stay in that child's pose. I'm just coming back to my right heels and then switching over to my left and then coming up. Trying to make an S. I just like to add a little bit of movement. <sighs> Breathing through it, connecting that breath with body and then holding it at that child's pose maybe open and close your wrist maybe drop the forehead and then option i'm going to come again you can still stay in child's pose i'm going to bring my knees in and i'm going to roll onto my toes and i'm just going to push back and i'm just going to kind of roll onto that part of that yogi toes i mean we've really been doing it a lot when we go from down dog into our vinyasa but maybe just kind of roll a little bit more. We got a lot of lymph nodes in our feet as well, right? Getting, we've got, we've started at the, right at the neck. We're going all the way down to our feet. Sometimes even just holding still and rubbing side to side might feel good. If you do a lot of running, a lot of hiking, sometimes the feet can get sore. This is a great stretch. Again, if you're like, no, this doesn't feel good, then you can come right here. Options. That's what's so, so great about yoga, right? Listening to our bodies. Give me one more breath wherever you are, and then let's all meet in a tabletop. Holding this tabletop, toes to the ground. I'm going to inhale here. As I exhale, I'm going to take this knee out wide, and then I'm going to open it up right here. So I wanted to do this when we're nice and warm because I really want to think about getting into that hip, that groin area, opening it up. So I'm squeezing my left heel towards my right glute. Keep on my shoulders, nice and square. Open it. Now from here, we're going to come into half pigeon with this left leg. You ready? So from here, inhale, rotate this hip in. Rotate it open. Knees behind your left wrist. And then wiggle out your right leg. Really getting into your hip. Taking your half pigeon. Keeping your hips square, shoulders square. And just take a few breaths here in your pigeon. And again, I have I'm, I have really tight hips, so my pigeon will probably look a lot different than most people. If you if you can go deeper, if you can get this hip closer to the ground, I invite you to. Or if it's in your practice to bring your head to your mat, your full expression. A lot of people think too with half pigeon that you know your leg has to be parallel and that's that's not true so my left toe my left heel is almost closer to my inner thigh my hip if that makes sense if that helps you with your 
your pigeon pose. Again, everybody's flexibility is different. Let's just breathe into this beautifully beautiful stretch. Holding it here. Give me one more breath here. Exhaling it out here. Inhaling, let's come on up. Gently bring this left leg back, just how you brought it in, finding that tabletop. I'm gonna just kind of add a little bit of movement. It feels pretty good after that pigeon. And then find your stillness, reset for the right side. So when you're ready, evenly push your weight into both hands, leaning onto that left leg as you open up the right hip. Open it up. Squeezing that right heel towards your left glute, opening it up. Can you open it up a little bit bigger? And then on your next inhale, here we go. I'm going to swoop this knee in, rotate it, put my right knee behind my right wrist, extending my left leg out long. Okay, your full expression, your pigeon. And it's okay to take a moment to come into hot pigeon. It's a deep, deep stretch. Big deep exhales. Every exhale you lengthen. Releasing any tension from any part of your body and then just enjoying this deep stretch. Again, if it's in your practice, bringing your forehead to your hands. My right hip seems to be a little more flexible than my left. So this feels good. Keeping those hips square. Breathing into this deep stretch, enjoying it. Relaxing your jaw, relaxing your neck. Breathing into the outside of that right leg. And then inhale, come on up. Gently placing your hands as you walk your left knee in. Gently bring your right knee behind, finding that tabletop. Maybe give me a little <sighs> movement. And then from here, I'm going to tuck my toes. I want to come to one final downward facing dog. After those pigeons, sometimes it feels really good to just lengthen. Looking up at your waistband, it's a beautiful inversion. You don't need a Handstand tonight, all just do a downward facing dog, looking up at your waistband and just lengthening. Head is below the heart. Just scanning your beautiful body, all the places you, you breathed into tonight. You moved, you lengthened and stretched. And then on your next inhale, find that tabletop and then push it on back, have a seat, coming onto your right hip. Swinging those legs out in front of you, planting your feet down, and then slowly rolling it down, one vertebrae at a time, bringing those knees into your chest, giving that lower back a lovely massage. Maybe take it to a happy baby, taking those two peace fingers, opening up those knees, dropping them to the ground, releasing that lower back. Feels really good on your inner thighs. Relaxing your face. And then release. Inhale. Bring both knees into your chest and take your arm out to a T. I gotta scooch over. So keep it to a T. Inhale here. Exhale. Take both of your left legs to the side. Now you can hold it here and you can just look over your right shoulder. Or you can extend your legs out. So my legs are straight and they're both leaning to the left. Now looking over my right shoulder, I'm gonna just walk my hand, so my hand is moving, it's trying to find my leg, oh, there's the top of my right leg. Maybe you move your right legs up a little bit closer. Maybe a little bit closer. And you hold on to the outside of that right leg. One more twist here, this feels really good through the back. Lengthening through the legs. If, it, if you have a little more flexibility, if you wanna grab onto the ankle, maybe you grab onto the outside of that right foot. 
the inner IT band, but as well as that back, opening up through the chest. Again, you can let this go and just hold your limbs down here. Beautiful stretch. And then slowly bend your knees, come back just the way we started. Knees are right at center. Nice flat back. Inhale here. Exhale. Knees stay together as they go over to the right side, looking over the left leg. I gotta scooch over. I gotta come off my mat. So both the knees are flat. My arms are at a T. This just already feels very wonderful. Now I'm gonna straighten my legs. I gotta scooch out. Straightening my legs right here. So now inhale here. Actually, I'm gonna turn so you guys can see me better. Can you find your feet again? Other side. Can you reach? So I'm looking over my left shoulder, so it feels kind of weird. You're not looking at it. And then you just kind of, oh, there's my leg. Okay. Outside of your left leg now with your right arm. Can you grab onto that outside of your calf? Maybe move your feet up a little bit more and you can find it outside of that left leg. Getting a beautiful stretch there outside of that leg. Opening up the chest. Like for me, this feels really good on the left side of my chest. One more beautiful twist tonight. Exhale it out. And then slowly release those legs, bending the knee, bringing those knees into center, hugging those knees into your chest. Take whatever you need coming into your final relaxation. In fact, before we come and do that, let's hug those legs in. Hug them in as a ball. Give yourself a nice big hug. Now bring your head off your yoga mat and feel your forehead into your knee. Now I want you to squeeze your face. I want you to squeeze your body as hard as you can. Like squish your face, like squeeze, 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 squeeze as hard as you can. And then exhale, let it all out. Big good morning stretch, reach through. Feel that burst of blood shooting through your body. A nice detox. And then slowly come into your final relaxation. Opening your palms, allowing your ankles to open. Taking a moment to seal in your practice. Palms are open, feet are open. We started with the neck and we made our way, we made our way all the way down the body. We massage those internal organs. We got into the inner thighs, the hip, the groin, the chest. So just allow all of those parts to just sink into your yoga mat. Taking the tongue off the roof of your mouth letting even your eye sockets just melt into your yoga mat. Staying with your breath. Feeling that connection. Softening the face. With every exhale, letting your breath just coat your body like a blanket. Melting deeper into your yoga mat. Keeping your eyes closed, staying in this relaxed state. Just bring one hand to your belly. You can feel it rise on the inhale and then feel it sink into your yoga mat on the exhale. Feel your face soften, your shoulders soften. And then on the next inhale, take your opposite hand and place it over your heart. And feel your beautiful heart beating. Feeling your chest rise and fall along with your beating heart. Be thankful for your body tonight or today, whatever time that you're doing this practice. And 
moving and breathing, twisting, such, it's the greatest way to give your body some self-love. So breathe that self-love, feel that self-love all over your body. Breathe it in and then as you exhale, send out that beautiful love to the world around you. We're gonna end tonight laying down. So gently release your hands. Inhale, let's bring our hands above our head. Really give me that big stretch. And then as you exhale, bring your palms together, just like we would if we were seated, tracing your thumbs down your nose, down your lips, and right to your heart. Let's do that one more time. Inhale, take your arms out to the side, reaching it up, really reach. As you exhale, bring your hands together, slowly sealing in your practice. Feeling your body melt into your yoga practice as your hands make your way to your heart. Thank you so much for doing yoga with me, for moving and breathing, maybe trying something new. <sighs> Namaste. Thank you so much. Feel free to stay down. <laughs> Enjoy yourself.